Hey everyone, I just thought I'd give you an update. We are here in, in Port Elizabeth and it is cold and we are out here on the water. On the pier actually, so we're out in the water and behind me you can see the Indian Ocean. And of course it's like a very cloudy um, day, but it's really beautiful, um, a beautiful city out here, um, out here in Port Elizabeth. We've been having a really nice time here on our vacation we just arrived here on today from Durban early this morning we left Durban about 8 o'clock so we had to get up very early this morning and uh, catch our flight it was an 8 o'clock flight and we got here to Port Elizabeth at 9 something and so uh, we've been going really good about that because otherwise I'd be sleepy actually in the car I was dozing off it was just a very short drive um, down the way but we went to have breakfast. We went to a place called Mug and Beans, which is like a really popular eatery here in South Africa. So we went there and it was really nice. We sat and we talked like Pentecostal people love to do. We had a really great time just laughing, talking. And there was another couple that was here with us. Um, they're new to the church. Uh, wonderful story the young lady had to tell, and maybe I can get her to tell the, the story on video, but it was really awesome. But the funny thing is, uh, she's the same age that I am. Uh, she's 37, and she was telling me about um, she recently got married. Um, but she was telling me about her husband. He's 22 years old. She said she wanted to try the cougar thing. So I told her, wow, I, I can tell some people back in Houston, because um, well, I won't say what my age, um, you know, that I'm always saying the age is perfect for, but uh, it's older than 22. But anyway, I told her I would tell the, you guys back in Houston. So people like Marcy, who's always talking about me having a cougar ministry. Um, yeah, someone has really beat me. And, and she said she was, she was doing the cougar thing. So that was kind of funny. But uh, we're, we're having a really great time. We were in Durban. Uh, from Thursday last, the 18th, until today, and we had a really great time with them, a really great fellowship. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of, I didn't take really, I don't think much video. I did take some video of the services, but not a whole lot, but we had a really great time of fellowship with them, and it just brought back a lot of memories of what, you know, fellowship used to be like, just getting together and, and just fellowshipping with people and sharing wonderful testimonies and encouraging each other and just talking about life and so we had this really great fellowship on last night they just wanted to have a fellowship and people came together and uh, we ate we talked we laughed had a great time and it was just it was like family it wasn't like we were from different countries or different cultures or any of that it was really bringing back a fellowship that we've had for so long but it's just been dormant for a moment and so God is bringing that ministry back that that fellowship uh, back um, where we're going to be fellowshipping with people and so we're just we're really believing that the, the fellowship is going to come alive and uh, Bishop Behrens who is uh, let me turn the camera around who's over here behind me talking to Bishop at the moment uh, he's even asked to contact get, be in contact with Bishop John so that way the, the fellowship is not only just with us and South Africa and then us in Kenya but that the fellowship will be with everyone it's just a big large fellowship again and so I believe that's going to be a great thing that's what the body of Christ is all about is, is us just coming together and encouraging each other and fellowshipping with each other so they're sitting up there and they're talking and it is cold out here let me tell you it is cold it's got to be like in the 50s out here on the pier much colder than further back in the city and it looks like it's gonna rain um, you can see the Sun is way up above the clouds way up there you can see it coming through but um, down here, it's, it's totally, it's cold. And I, I came prepared. I've got some warm clothes, so I'm, I'm totally ready for it. But Bishop has been getting rest. She hasn't preached, uh, but she's been having a great time of fellowship. So those of you who have been wondering how Bishop is doing, she's doing well. Great time of fellowship. Things are going well. We're just having a great time. So that's, that's the update for now. We're going to be here in PE until Thursday. And then on Thursday morning, we head down to CT, Cape Town for a few days of fellowship until it is time for us to leave on Monday next. So just continue to pray for us to have wonderful travels as we move about the country and that Bishop will continue to get some rest 
it's about time for me to get some rest because I haven't been sleeping at all much at night so I uh, don't want to resort back to the sleeping pills but I might just have to do that to get a few good nights of rest but maybe I'm exhausted this tonight and being out and about and doing stuff I'll be um, I'll be ready hey let's let's see who else we can get in the camera you see the guy in the yellow jacket that's the 22 year old uh, but anyway ah he's waving at everybody <laughs> so you have to tell everyone you have to tell everyone your name come let's go Oh, no, no, I don't think anyone wants to go jump out of um, on the water. Oh, he's trying to check out the the camera. Yeah. So, but you didn't tell them your name, so you have to tell them. What's my name again? That's, uh... Vincent Adams. <laughs> you had to think of what your name no, is? No. You can check me out on Facebook. Vincent Fernando Justin Adams. Oh, I thought you were saying Nando's. I was about to get Nando's. happy. Nando's. <laughs> Fernando. Oh, oh. Oh, too bad it's not Nando's. That's, that's like the best place to eat fast food. Yes, it's the best place to eat fast food here in... Um... Mexico? No, in, in South Italy? Africa. Oh. No, in Italy, pizza. It's all about the pizza in Italy. It's the pizza. Yeah, so anyway, I'm going to say so long because it is... Why is it so cold here? I know. You guys were yeah. supposed to warm it up for me. Yes, that's that's what it feels like. I think it's like 50 something out here. Well, you guys so, are yeah. Celsius, so yeah. let's say it's probably like what 14, 13 degrees Celsius I think or colder? 15 maybe 16. 15, yeah. 16. Yeah, it's cold. 